Welcome back to the Thunderdome, where I told you last night we'd let the comment section simmer. I believe last night this community post, the newest edition of Trigger Senpai crying, writing personal diaries. <laughs> it's continuing. It was only at 50 comments before, now it's 144. If people are unaware of what's happening, basically, uh, this is a rage bait channel. This guy's channel is just rage bait. He made a lot of stupid videos, but I actually was gracious enough to give a genuine objective reaction on this video. And I made the video and he had a mental breakdown. A mental breakdown so big that he didn't even publish the VOD until I called him out for being a pussy. And someone else, someone else named It's a Boy. I appreciate you, It's a Boy, for recording the segment where in this video, he attempts to watch my reaction but all he does is screech like a monkey and cry and cry. And you can basically see the comment section there. That's kind of, you don't have to watch, you know, part three, two, one and all that. If you do, go ahead. But that's kind of where we're at right now. And we're going to read the most recent community post to see what's actually going on with my man. What's going on, little Triggy? So, instead of, oh, sorry, I should click this. So, instead of accepting my invite for a live discussion, you choose to make another video? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? Why would I bring you onto a live discussion when you have proven to me in this video you're not capable of having composure? You can't control your emotions. That's why I call you a monkey. And in this video, everyone has seen it. Like, I don't need to say it. People just know it. So why would I invite you over? Here's a good example. Here's a good analogy I should have mentioned last episode, last uh, phase. When you wrestle with the pig in mud, the pig loves it, right? Both of you get dirty, but the pig loves it. Do you understand that analogy? You're the pig. You're asking for all the attention. And if I brought you onto a live stream, not only is it a liability, you probably try to get me banned. You probably crash out and see some wild shit. There is no way that you actually think I'm going to bring you on after you did this shit. All you have to do is actually watch my reaction and do a time play by play analysis, just like how I did and deconstruct my opinions. Talk about the talking points. You literally said in your second response video that we could have discussed about ReZero when I sent the invite. I don't know when this happened. I think this was when he said, debate me, bro. It's got to happen in this hour. It's never happening, bro. And then I said, yeah, I could do that. But like, that's not going to accomplish fucking anything. Because again, we don't need to do a debate. If Oh, this is a thumbnail, by the way. If you wanted to do a debate, all you have to do is just respond to this video. In fact, you probably can't do things like me and do everything live in one take format. So you taking your time to watch this video by yourself and coming up with your own opinions is actually favorable for it towards you. Now I'm begging to talk to you. You are begging. Every day you cry over and over and over. I live rent free in your head. You are literally begging. You are literally fucking begging right now. Make up your mind, dude. My mind's been made up since the beginning. Now I see why you call people monkeys because you're one yourself. I, I, this is the best part because if you watch this video, if, if, if you watch, you know, I think it was part two. What did I say in part two? Best line I've ever heard. You are all monkeys and I am the monkey king. Again, there's people that doesn't understand our brand. So like, this is not an insult. I proudly call everybody a monkey because we're all ascendants from primates. And then I call people who are unable to control emotions like you and just crash out monkeys because you are one. And I am the monkey king. And stop photoshopping yourself getting caressed by underage anime girls. Uh, I'm not sure when that happens. Probably when I put my face on thumbnails like that. Probably. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. And remember, this is home territory for him. This is not my community post. This is not my comment section. This is his comment section, okay? This is his community. This is his home court advantage, okay? 
So keep that in mind. This beef is entertaining as fuck. Nothing like watching adult men argue over anime. I absolutely agree. This is some of the most un just unserious bullshit, bro. You're getting mad and crying over opinions about anime. And you call yourself a rage bait channel? For real. On God, no drama will be ever more entertaining than this. And here's the thing. I'm a benevolent God. I don't care about winning, losing. What the fuck does that mean at the end of the day? All I care about is entertainment. An opportunity to make money and to make people laugh. And I think a lot of people are laughing. Just for another free shameless content farm from Kaka TV. This is going to be endless loop. Exactly. More so than Subaru is suffering. <laughs> content farm continues. Yes, sir. Dang, Kaka really living rent free in his head. Bro is getting cooked in his own fucking community post right now. The way you express yourself screams that you are an insecure person. And how does he know this? Because they watch this video. It's public. The thing that's so entertaining is that most Kaka drama shouldn't even exist. Exactly. I don't start drama, bro. I literally just stay in my lane, do my own thing, and give my object, objective, honest, authentic reactions as possible. And then people cry about it. It's just people being unbelievably stupid and not watching his videos properly. I changed my name so Kaka could maybe laugh about it. Have a nice day, Kaka. Happy farming. Kaka is my lord. Bro is having a meltdown right now. Really living up to what his name says. What the hell would you guys have an argument? You're literally a rage bait channel. Your opinion is irrelevant. This beef is more interesting than Penguin Z0 versus Sneeko. Dead ass. At the end of the day, bro, you're just a tool for him to farm. You can get more money off of this. I've been saying this from the beginning. This shit doesn't matter. I'm just making fun of you. You're literally like a pet monkey that is like a court jester. Like I'm the king, the monkey king sitting on my throne. I have all my subject around. Then I jingle the fucking bells. And then you show up and dance for me. Then I say, ha ha ha, look at him dancing. And we all laugh at him. And he's just like, why are you guys so mad? Oh my God, you're so sensitive. I'm like, brother, look what's happening right now. Everybody is cooking you. Everything he does is farming for money, so it would be a freaking waste of time for him to debate with on Discord. That too. I already talked about that, I think, in phase three. What what did I say? Like, that one hour or something is going to be the most unproductive time ever. He just wants to show up to insult and to say, haha, I got you and leave. Like, there's no, like, conversation to be had. Because if he truly wanted to have a conversation, all he has to do is watch the original video and actually address it. Rather than being stunlocked, watching this shit at 2x speed, not being able to finish the fucking video, all he does is resort to insults without talking about the talking points. See, the difference between me and him is that I actually talk about the talking points and then I insult. People who cannot attack the idea can only insult. You're saying he's a monkey himself, but at least he's worthy of the title Monkey King. Yes, sir, baby. Proudly, we are a monkey community. He's getting benefit from all this, and you're just a dude who's triggered by his daily farm. The best for you is that bro should move on. It's such a waste of time for you to do this. Edit. I just realized something, boys. This is literally Anokoji versus Ryuin. Oh, really? Okay. Remember the fight between them? When Ryuin tried to get some emotion out of Anokoji and Koji just gave him punches? True. He said he wanted to instill fear, right? And, and Ryu himself doesn't feel fear. And he said that this is just a mundane task to him. Basically, Trigger Senpai is Ryu and thinking that he's so important and wants to fight Kaka. That's the funniest part, too. If you watch these videos, not only is there racist remarks, not only is there calls of threats for violence, notice that he never shows his face in his content. Because every rage bait channel are a bunch of cowards that's too scared to put their face on the videos because they know what they're doing. It's just a bunch of pussies that are too scared to put, you know, their face in the video. You think you're gonna fight? Every time this guy, he's always like, ah, oh, y'all are trash. Ain't none of you been in a physical altercation. It's like, you want us to take you seriously? Like you're the most jacked ripped dude getting all the bitches. You're so good at fighting. But you're too scared to put a face in a YouTube video? Arguing about anime opinions? Come on. Ain't nobody taking you seriously. And Kaka just manipulates this monkey and making him a tool for his farming. And we all know that farming is a daily routine. Absolutely, brother. 
The difference is Ryun is actually smart and clever with the strategies, whereas Triggered is mainly just yapping. Exactly. Triggered is just challenged to be Ryun. If anything, it's Sakayanagi versus Yamauchi. <laughs> I mean, we did bring up the uh, themes of Yamauchi, right? These um, idiots who are so confident in themselves, yet they have no clue what they're talking about, right? The most stupid thing in the world, the most frustrating thing are these idiots who think they're so smart. They never, you know, critically think or do some self-reflection. It is true. Now that matchup is more fitting. He don't want you on stream because your previous live stream, again, which is just this video, of the runtime is just insult. In your last live stream, I have to watch 40 plus minutes for you to make any points to a V-Zero and not just an insult. My guy. You got absolutely cooked. Just give up already. You are just making yourself look stupid. And again, I want you to realize this. These are his boys. Okay? This is his home court. This is an away game for me. He got four replies. Then why won't he expose me in a debate? Because it's the most stupid thing to bring you on a debate. You've proven to me that you can't even do this. You're gonna crash out of my stream, waste time, and put me in trouble. Why would I make myself, like, put myself in a negative position when all I can do is just laugh at you and make more money? If I'm getting cooked so bad, it should be an easy dub for him, right? It is. We're on part four right now. I'm gonna keep doing this. How did he get cooked when he asked the guy for a debate and refused to take it? Sounds hypocritical if you ask me. Again, if you can't just watch the video, why do you think I should bring you on to a debate live? And here's the thing about a debate. A debate is the most pointless shit. And I've also noticed something, because some other comments mentions this. This is his final card to play. When he, and again, remember, this is like season five content for me. I'm not the first to do this. He's gotten in shit with so many other creators about different anime shit. There's a pattern of behavior, and we'll see in the comments soon, where his last resort is debate me, bro. Debate me, bro. People who says this shit, they have no genuine meaning of conversation. They're most likely even gonna show up and do some crazy shit to get the other party in trouble. Or let's just assume that a debate actually happens. What do you think is actually gonna happen? You're gonna say your opinions, I'm gonna say my opinions, and we're not gonna budge on our stances, and we're gonna end with saying, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. It is the most pointless thing possible. The only reason these things matter is to get like more of your people to agree with your takes and that's it i'm not trying to convince you there is nothing i can do to convince you that's a waste of fucking time i'm here to point a finger at you and laugh at you triggy you've made two and a half long streams reacting to his video at 2x speed and all of you said were insults threats racist remarks like some man child don't believe it just go watch this video and you didn't even went ha past half the video didn't even finish the video, by the way. There is nothing to debate, really, and you can't even bring up actual points why Reezero is trash. Crazy, bro. I wonder who was actually a hypocrite. The guy who said didn't want to talk to someone disingenuous and proceeded to start wanting a debate just because someone critiqued his badly made video because, yes, Triggered said that the first video was more for fun and wasn't as well structured than in the second video. Then started to trash talk all reaction videos, while basically doing a stream video reacting to someone else, bro doesn't even know that he's reacting, then made the video go two times the speed and didn't even finish the video, and yes, Kaka did watch the whole video without making it go two times speed, and that's the thing. I actually respected his content, that I watched his goddamn video and put 44 minutes listening to his retardation. There is nobody on this platform that could have been more genuine and authentic and gave you that kind of respect. But he can't recognize that. And what does he do in response? He can't even finish the fucking video at 2x speed. Come on, bro. Then devolve into just wanting to fight him physically. Because again, it's an anonymous face person. Who, who's too coward of a person to publish this stream. Too scared to put his face on videos because of the criticisms. And you're saying you're a tough guy online? That is hilarious. You're a keyboard warrior. Because yeah, that's what a normal person wants to do, a conversation or a debate would say. Not to mention the racism. And yes, even if it were racism, which it wasn't, in what world does someone who hate racism would end up fighting someone who believed to be racist? Because again, this is not a principal stance. People play victim cards. If they truly were against these virtues, if they truly were in favor of these virtues, nobody would be racist back. 
That's the thing. He misunderstands everything intentionally, then plays the victim card. And now he's saying, okay, I'll be racist towards you. It means that you never cared about that. If the video wasn't even anything to trigger, he wouldn't even be trying to elicit some reaction, especially when he keeps saying the videos are not rage baiting, which maybe that is true considering him making literal hours of streaming losing his mind. Anyways, I see no po uh, no reason for Kaka to waste his time in a supposed debate that will end up going nowhere. At this point, he will just farm it and make more money. Exactly. It is in my best interest to keep just like farming you like this. Why would I have a debate with you? That is so fucking stupid. Mate, I'm sorry, but it's anime. It ain't that deep. I agree. The most sensitive person, bro. Anime opinions getting this fucking heated. It's actually wild. You got cooked as well. You're a channel that makes other people triggered. You can't be triggered when someone actually critiques your crappy criticisms of anime you don't understand. Rage beat channels are always funny, not gonna lie. This beef is hilarious. I agree. This is the most funniest shit possible. For real though, for someone who leaves warnings about sensitive people getting butter in the beginning of his videos, he's pretty triggered. That's really funny, isn't it? He did have a little warning. Oh, my superior intellect may make you triggered, so uh, you've been warned. Triggy Senpai is triggered! More content to farm. This is too funny. Yes, sir. Farming content instead of setting up a live discussion is insane level of pussy. Coming from a guy who won't show his face and makes physical violent threats. Coming from a guy who was too scared to publish this stream because he knew he'd get backlash. Coming from a guy who is probably on like, you know, what day is this? Is this the fifth day or something? Every day you wake up. You're just seething and mad while I'm laughing at you. Man scared to get cooked and moving the goalpost. Here's a... He actually showed up to stream last night. This is how obsessed he is with me. We were watching Lone Life Isekai, or chillin', and he shows up. This man really ducked the debate to watch some weeb shit, ain't no way. Here's the funniest part. I'm making money. Recording these reactions are part of my business strategy. You think that I'm going to debate you and waste time? He shows up and then guess what I said? Notice how I didn't ban him immediately? I told him. Listen, Triggy. You're welcome to stay around and watch some anime with us if you want to. All right? If you're going to behave, we can have fun together. If you're going to start screeching like a monkey, I have to put you in the cage. And... This is kind of the result of that. I only banned him for one day too. Because again, my goal isn't to destroy him. My goal isn't to perma-ban him. He's a good pet that we can keep around. Also, yes, account created 21 hours ago. He created an account <laughs> just for me. <laughs> oh, man. He truly is the biggest fan. Mate. You made up multiple racist remarks, ranted for two hours straight while contradicting yourself multiple times, saying you don't care to respond, and then proceed to insult the community by calling them sexless insults. Again, how can you say these things when you're too scared to show your face in these videos? You talk about how strong and how good you're in a fight. You talk about how much pussy you get. But like, how can someone take that seriously when you're too much of a coward to put even your face on these rage bait videos. The only part of your community is the constant yes men who obviously defend everything you spew. The reason why your ReZero Critic video got clowned was because it was shallow. There was no basis of proof, absolutely agree, from the actual narrative of the show. And you constantly insult not only said authors of certain series, but also the community of these popular series. You claim the fanboys ruined the community when you yourself are being just as hypocritical when you can't accept the proper debunk of your video. These people can't really see beyond what's right in front of them. They can't even realize that they're being hypocritical, right? Anytime someone calls them out, suddenly, it's like the people calling them out being sensitive. Anytime people like actually shit on them, it's just like, oh, you can't handle criticism. Bro, look at yourself in the mirror for a second. He feels like one of those people in a Caleb City video that hates on something when it gets popular. Well, here's the thing. Do you know why this guy has, like, no content? Notice how every video is basically just whatever is trending during that time. He has no actual personal opinions of anything. It's just, what's trending popular right now? 
And can I shit on it? Because if I do, then I'm going to get hate watchers. In fact, look at the most recent community post. Can you guess what the next video is going to be? Other than ReZero Season 3 is trash? It's going to be Don Don is trash. He needs to actually ask people to have an opinion for this. And you know what the funny thing is? Even his own fucking clown dogs. Remember that cringe catcher guy? How I made fun of him saying, holy shit, it's so funny how your name is cringe catcher, but you're catching cringe yourself. Even his boys are saying, no offense, but you're trying to ignore the drama. <laughs> Anyways, going back to this. Those are called elitist and trust me. Triggered has insulted Captain Mac. Okay, remember, these are like season two, season three, season one characters, okay? Other creators and other CCs in the past were not liking Demon Slayer. It's hilarious. Edit. Found a channel. It's A-list exists. Again, I'm a season five character coming into this, okay? There's a lot of lore here. Why are you responding like an 11-year-old? <laughs> because he is. He's mentally 11. Who talks like this? Who talks like this? Who responds like this? It's a child. Bro, triggered. You can't get past two minutes of his videos after two hours. Why the fuck would he debate someone who can't handle a single minute? Bruh. Yo mans literally start calling me a monkey and insulting me one minute 40 seconds into my video. Yeah, I did. Because I think you are one. And if you listen to what happened right before it, the logic is all there. You provided a timestamp. You guys can go watch it. And do you know why my video is so well received? It's because I'm very genuine about my takes. This guy, all he can do is fabricate hate in order to bait drama. That's all he does. But like the reason why I can call you a monkey, a retard monkey, by the way, and get away is because I'm talking about the video, the talking points and insulting your ideas about it. You can't even realize what's going on. And those are baby ass insults. Here's another thing. He's so sensitive. Holy shit. So soft. Like, Huggy's diaper soft. He calls everyone's monkeys, though, because we are stupid. Board chairman understands the brand of our channel. We are all primates. You clearly can't even comprehend AJ's comment, you... Bro is getting cooked in his own community. <laughs> I do have a level of respect for Triggy not, like, deleting this community post. Because if he did, then we could make fun of him for pussying out, right? But damn, like... This is, again, remember, this is not a home game. This is an away game for me. It takes a genius to call crashing out for two hours straight, being mad and straight up yapping with no actual points about a show's response. Do you even know what a debate means? It means stating your points, presenting your arguments with evidence in the form of examples, and refuting the other party's points. And you did none of that in this two-hour disaster of a stream. Of course, no one wants to debate with you, man. The last thing you should do is bring emotions to a debate, and considering what you did during that stream, no one is going to believe that the debate with you participating is going to be anything but a waste of everyone's time. The best thing you can do is to let this go, or you can continue making these community posts and give Kaka even more reason to keep farming you. All he has to do is just walk away, bro. That's all you have to do. Bro got the biggest interaction of his channel's lifespan. Oh, boy. And I think um, a lot of these people, they do love the attention, right? Because, like, they have no content other than hating something trending. They have no core community or content. Therefore, when there's, like, you know, stuff like this happening, this is, like, his Super Bowl. No, really. This is, like, straight up, like, his Super Bowl right now. I am giving him more engagement than com uh, compared to before. Bruh. I literally average more views per video and stream than him. Then I have less subs on now. Here we go. What matters at the end of the day? It's the monthly viewership for long form content, right? I am 50 times bigger than him in my main channel, but sub count though, right? I don't think sub count matters. Let's bring up my uh, second channel. You know, my second channel with almost 3,000 subs. If you can do the math, I'm basically almost seven times bigger than him. Almost, right? You are nothing compared to me. How could you possibly say these things? Bro doesn't know how this shit works. 
<laughs> Bro, you should do a video for. Oh, this is like coming out of nowhere. Do a video. Just. <laughs> Let's keep going. Bro is a male version Karen. I would like to preface this by saying I'm willing to change my mind if he makes a good response. I want to have an actual discussion without throwing insults around. One of the biggest things that Trigger has said that irks me in the streams at this point is that Super. Okay, I don't care about these reasons or talking points. I don't care. You can go debate all you want. These are reasons or talking points. I'm here to farm the drama. To be honest, I'm not the type of guy who leaves comments on YouTube. I just used to watch what I want. This drama though between him and me is just so ridiculous. It's like a volleyball game. If one starts to play the ball, it keeps on going until one accepts and lets it go. I'm also a ReZero fan, but that doesn't mean ReZero has anything to do with it. It doesn't. ReZero, it, it, it really didn't have to be about ReZero. This has nothing to do with ReZero at this point. This drama is really about how two YouTubers argue with each other, while one takes their time to analyze the situation and the other one being all, yeah, got a problem? I give you the problem, see? Why fight? When the result is the same. Also, you know, now I see why you call people monkeys because you are one yourself. Isn't that boosting the monkey army more? Yes, we are all monkeys. <laughs> we are all monkeys, it says that humans were monkeys once. So what is your goal? Why do you keep on fighting with them? Just because of an anime review? Yes, I can keep farming and I'm for it. I'm just here to give you the content that you guys deserve, okay? Here for the drama, I guess. This beef is becoming the Broku situation part two. Remember, this is season one to four content. There is previous lore with this shit going on. I just came to check on the farm and see how the crops are going and there are some rotten ones so I'll have to throw away otherwise 10 out of 10 will not visit again. I ain't reading all that. Does not cause pre-review so just want to comment. You're getting cooked. I'm sorry bro. Bro. Just leave the beef behind and move on please. This is his boys. This is his fans by the way. Trust me. This is the last time I'm addressing this ducking ass creep. He resorted to calling a con creep. Oh no. We'll see about that. We'll see if this really is the last one. Peak farming and coming. Bro saying invite to a person with different time zones to debate about someone's anime where in his time is available while the other is not. What a bullshit post. A triggered channel is getting triggered. Your lord and savior said he was willing to discuss in the video. If you actually watch the video. You would understand that, like, this is not the case. I entertain the thought of discussing in the video, then I immediately point to how you back out by prefacing it's gotta happen now or never. Because, like, again, you don't do the due diligence to actually watch the videos. This is why everything is full of contradictions, and you keep making yourself look like an idiot. Why would he then back out after I say, let's debate? Keep making excuses and moving the goalpost. Y'all, we be our savior, duck the fade. Why would you invite a debate when you can't fully acknowledge it or make it happen? And just post here just to delete, which is unnecessary for you to just say face. Oh, why say face when you can't even show your own face? <laughs> That's another one, bro. <laughs> That's another one, bro. Bro can't even show his face. Bro, not gonna lie, you should stream today too. Peak drama right now. Bro just out here making that bag from a more successful channel given in clout. Fight, 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 fight. Again, like, these are his fans. All they want to see is monkeys throwing shit at each other. Even his boys are basically saying, come on, dance for me. Dance for me, Triggy. Poop. Poop. Loving the meat? Didn't BG from Alex say he'd debate you alone, but you haven't done that yet? And this is what I meant before. This is a pattern of behavior with previous drama where his ultimatum card is to say, debate me, bro. No. I asked one of them to debate me alone. Didn't matter which one. One of them said no. And when I said, how about the other guy? He said, nah, he good. I even gave them until 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Since when? Since like 1 p.m.? Did you make the post at 1 p.m.? Because like, this is what he did. He made a post and he's like, it's got to be right now or now, bro. I know you saw my comment. It's got to be right now or never. To change their mind. But ultimately, they said no. And I went about my day. Fast forward how many months? They revisit my response to them on the JoJo video. That went all of a sudden, and one of them said they wanted to debate. We like three and four months since the request. I said, fuck it, I'm here and move on. I didn't duck anything. So, you pussied out. Right? Do you guys see a pattern of behavior? 
constantly making the short time frame debate restrictions and then to blame the other side for saying, oh, you pussied out. Whenever he can't respond to an actual video criticism, he says, debate me, bro. And then the debate me, bro, also lasts for like 30 minutes. And then he calls you a pussy for running away. And then when someone comes back and say, do it, he then pussies. <laughs> yep. Yep. How exactly is Super Retreat? Whatever. All this over a Super Mario Bros. ass anime. I agree, bro. This is the most unserious shit. This does not matter. Lol, facts. Exactly. This all started because that creep got emotionally butthurt over my video. Do you understand what emotionally butthurt means? Because if you actually watched the video and you didn't, you couldn't even get two minutes into the video, right? Like, you couldn't watch the video. How do you know it's emotionally butthurt? But I do know for a fact that this two hour, 30 minute schizo like scratch out, this is the emotional butthurt stuff. Your entire community posts are emotionally butthurt stuff. You are talking like a 14 year old middle school girl that can't win against the fucking popular girl school. And I'm sorry, right now, I guess I'm that popular girl school and I gotta keep making fun of you. Gawk gawk. Oh, he is fucking gawk gawking me right now. This is insanity. He a coward. Hopefully I'll be in the next video. <laughs> Look at that dude. Even his monkeys are so desperate. They lick at my asshole. I wanna make it onto his video. Such a loser behavior. Mom, I made it on TV. <laughs> oh man. Can people just watch something without simping for girls and making themselves creeps? What's going on with the today's community? No one cares what someone likes or reads, but if you post such pictures of with you with an anime girl, what, what you, not against... I don't know who is doing this. I have no clue. I like I'm young. When did I say that? The thumbnail? The thumbnail. Okay, this is just more fucking mudslinging. In fact, this is actually funny. Because, like, if you actually know my brand and my content, there's a lot of lollicons that are shocked at my take on lollies, and they hate me for it. But, like, of all the people that farms, like, anime shit, I'm probably the person that is the most, like, of your, like, ideology regarding, like, anime girls. But you don't even know that. That's why you post shit like this. And that's why I have nothing to hide. This is why anime is becoming less entertaining. So most of the fan bases think they know it all and being by told by pillow humping with the series of whatever. One Piece fans okay. <laughs> We're not done yet though. This, this is just a community post. This, this is just a community post. Are you ready? We ain't done yet. We, we, ain't, we ain't done yet. We gotta, we gotta read the uh, part three comment because there's some juicy, juicy shit there, okay? This is the part three shit. Oh, I like this line too. Laugh and the entire world will laugh with you. Cry and you will cry alone. I ended the video saying that because all I'm doing is laughing and all he's doing is crying to portray exactly what this you know theme means. And this is the lore, okay? This is the uh, tricky lore regarding all of the different season one, two, three content, okay? Can you notice a pattern of behavior here? 35 replies, bro. Do I want to read this shit? We are in season five, bro. And then they're just going to be arguing about fucking Demon Slayer here. I don't give a fuck. Absolutely. Monkey King salute. Bro said to bait me unironically. I'm crying. Peak entertainment. Business is booming. Yes, sir. People love this shit. And this is all I care about. I don't give a fuck about like winning a debate or losing a debate. All I care is, is my monkeys having fun? Are my community members just having the time of their lives right now. That's all that matters. We're just trying to just make some more noise, create a sense of unity through this tribalistic bullshit, and we continue to grow stronger. Ain't no way the rant channel's actually triggered, troop. For real, I thought he's just being a troll. Nah, I haven't watched any of his content, but based on the thumbnails alone, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty clear that he is just a rage bait channel. It definitely wouldn't have this guy on a debate stream. You'd might be banned or he'd just spoil me. True. Like, there's no reason to have me on a fucking debate. Like, all you have to do is respond to this video. But he can't do that. Trigger said he wasn't offended by anything or doesn't care, yet makes two video streams of more than two hours each crying about it. 
or asking for a debate, yet also says he wouldn't have one without someone being disingenuous. Did he contradict himself? Of course he does. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He is a triggered contradiction. The one occasion where bro is just an anime is the appropriate response. Gladiate motherfucker. Peak. Peak. I don't know, bro. There's a mansion in his head right now, and I'm just living in it rent-free. Yes, drama's fun. Drama's fun. Drama's fun. Drama's fun. Any other shit? Any other shit? This is the kind of guy to hate post ReZero, get MT fans, and then hate post NT, then lose all fans. <laughs> and then wonder why no one supports his higher cause. <laughs> this is funny. Why aren't you fans so hate toward towards other Isakai's anime? It's just everything. Not gonna lie, I used to watch Sugar Senpai just to get a good laugh at an anime I, I did think were bad, or the fandom was bad. But like My Hero Academia, but he just became rage bait and just hates everything or the popular opinion and just become an echo chamber of nonsense. Even actual old fans coming out and saying, this dude changed, bro. This dude actually used to, you know, have some critical opinions about anime, but now he resorts to just hating what's popular because that's how you get cheap, easy views. But that also just kills your channel. And that's why I am performing 50 times better on my main channel, seven times better in the second channel. Ain't no way there's a response. You know if this guy went to a debate with Gaga, he would just yell, talk over, and interrupt without listening to any actual argument. It'd be completely pointless. Wukong, baby. Monkey King. Bro should just uh, stay in hiding and keep letting reactors like Kaga give clout to his channel because his line of thinking and sensitivity levels are clearly not suitable for debating. I agree. It does blow my mind how, like, someone that claims to be, like, so strong, gets all the bitches, is the superior intellect, breaks down, has an emotional breakdown, starts crying online, and then continues to get cooked by his own members. Like, it, the sensitivity levels, how soft he is, it's so funny. Is there anything else? Jesus Christ, man. I just got called Nazi on Twitter for saying Dandadan -da episode 7 was a master. What the fuck? Easy farm, easy farm, easy farm. Is there any more fun comments? No, I think that's pretty much it. And that is where we're at. Basically, he's just still crying. And I'm still laughing at him. And if you can't realize, like, like it, it's also funny to me that his own members are also just turning on him. It's just every day I wake up with so much happiness in my heart, knowing that there's no more shit that I can farm for easy. And this guy wakes up every day mad and seething. He's going to continue to cry over and over again. Now, he did say this is the last response. Maybe this is genuine. But seeing as even his own boys don't get any backup, right? I don't think there's going to be a phase five. Hopefully, we can settle it here and move on. But if he wants to cry about it more, you know I'll be there to cover it. See you next time.